So yesterday and the day before, I had two crashes. One Zwift crashed and two Windows crashed and then did a bunch of updates and stuff. And I'm hoping that's why Zwift crashed is because of all of the Windows updates. Uh, that would be nice. I, when I looked up a bunch of stuff, it was like all bag random stuff that nobody knows anything about. And eventually it just works itself out and stops being a problem. Um, nobody at tech support that I could see anyway had anything extremely intelligent to say about stuff. So I set it up for as clean a boot as possible. The instructions for that, again, if you're not uh, really experienced with using Windows, and changing system settings and stuff. Don't mess with it if you can help it. Um, but I wanted to show you something here. You can actually save the rides because uh, they might be slightly off, but you can save the rides. And I'm going to show you the process for that right now. And I did it with yesterday's ride. Now I'm going to do it with the day before's ride. You go into your documents, Swift. Yeah, documents, Swift. I can't do this as a screenshot like I can on the other computer. So then activities. And then we look for the crash, which was two days ago, which would have been the 18th. So there's a 1K from the 18th, and that's not likely to be it, because that's too small. And there's one from the 18th that is 169K. That's going to be the one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this by way of Google Docs, which is my preferred method of uh, transferring stuff. <laughs> and I'll hide enough of this to keep myself out of trouble here. And uh, new file upload. And uh, we get to look at it here. So the 18th sort this by descending 18th at one six that's 169 okay okay and now that has been uploaded upload complete good deal now later on I will switch to the other computer and show you how to get this into Strava and you can use the same uh, technique to get it into just about anything that will accept a .fit file. The problem is that this .fit file is corrupted because it did not finish correctly. So we'll fix that and I'll show you how. Hey, so just a minute ago I got the Zwift file out of the uh, documents folder on my writing computer. And now I'm up here at my work computer where I do all my audio, video editing, and blogging, and uh, writing books and whatnot. So first of all, I'm going to go and snag that file. And here it is, 2019-02-18-16. So this, and 16-45-44. So it's a timestamp. So the year 2019, the month February, the day 18th, just a couple days ago, and 16-45. Uh, was the time that this occurred. So right click and download. Good deal. Now, if I were to import this directly into Strava, let's see what we get. Let's start with 2019 and there's the 1816 and we open and the upload appears to be malformed and we are unable to process it now this is actually normal so let's go to uh, <clears throat> the uh, fitfiletools.com fitfiletools.com it fixes dot fit tile files so Let's go ahead and uh, go to the um, corrupt time fixer. This is going to be, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So the corrupt time fixer in fitfiletools.com. This will help fix files with corrupt timestamps. And that's normally what's wrong with these. 
So we select the files and again, 2019. And there's the 1816 that we're looking for. And we open, go, and we download the file. It is named fitfiletools.fit. So now let's try this in Strava. So we upload the file, choose files. We go to fit files. And I've done this a few times with other things. So it should be the two. Open. And if you notice something here, it, the ride was 1-6-2015. Now that is definitely not going to work. So let's cancel this and go back into fit file tools again. This time, it's the time adjuster. We select the files and we are selecting fit file tools 2.fit. We open and we want this to be February 18th at uh, 4.30 4 I probably could have typed this in a bit a lot faster, but we're going to make it 4.30 p.m. And go. We download the file. And this one's going to be fit files, fit tool files, fit file tools 3.fit. So now we go into Strava and we pick fit file tools 3. We open it. And we're going to call this a virtual ride because that's honestly what it is. And we're going to name it Swift CR whatever out. And there's the map. You can see the Swift map appeared right here. The date was correct, 218. I'm going to pick my bike, which is C29. And save and view. All right. Now, one problem we have in here is that I had entered this as a manual workout. So we switch this to riding. This is in my Strava training log. Right. Now you see, this is the one from 4.30 p.m. That's the one I just imported. And this is the one that I had done manually. So it's a manual workout. There is no Swift map. There's the picture of what I had last taken picture of before it failed. So I am going to edit this. Uh, go back. I'm going to delete. Okay. Cannot be undone. Okay. Now. Training log, ride, reload, still showing it there. I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, because the activity could not be found. So it might just take a little while for my map to sync. So that's all good. And that's how we fix a fit file when Zwift crashes for one reason or another.